Grace upon grace, greetings, word of life family, wherever you may be joining us from around the world, and welcome to the Kingdom Advancement Prayers on this beautiful Thursday. Prayer number one, we are praying according to Isaiah 54.1. Shout for joy, O barren one who has not given birth. Give a joyful shout and cry out. You who have not been in labor. For the children of the desolate one are more numerous than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. And in this we are praying that Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you enlarge, expand, increase and multiply the territory of the world of life all around. Father, we thank you because we are gaining ground with every passing day. We are expanding and we are increasing. Our online presence is increasing. The church is increasing. We thank you because, Lord, we will fill up the place until we have to look for a bigger place. Enough is enough. Your church must move forward in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Prayer number two, we are praying according to Genesis 12, verse 3. I will bless those who bless you, but the one who treats you lightly, I must curse, so that all the families of the earth may receive blessing through you. We are praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, release your blessing upon your church and make your church a blessing. Father, we thank you because your church is a blessing. It's a channel the Lord you have given unto us. It is a fountain the Lord you have given unto us. We have testified about your blessing and Lord we know that there shall be a multitude of blessings and testimony among us in your church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that many shall come from far and wide to tap into this blessing. That Lord, those who see us, they shall testify and they shall say that these are effectively blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Prayer number three. We are praying according to Isaiah 57:14. He says, build it, build it, clear away. Remove all the obstacles out of the way of my people. And we are praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every limitation placed on the church expansion be removed and destroyed. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are a barrier-breaking God. You are an obstacle-destroying God. Lord, thank you because you have removed every obstacle, especially the obstacles in the mind, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray the Lord may you give us not just the strength, but also the power to move to the next level. The power and the courage to break every barrier that is placed on our way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be no limitation. Father, whatever we receive, help us, Lord, to believe and not just believe, but to do as what we have believed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And now we are praying for the for the next Sunday service, and this we pray according to Daniel six three. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over 
the whole realm. We are praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the next Sunday service of grace to stand out, answer to its name. And, Father, we thank you because of the way the Lord has been so faithful. We thank you for the powerful service last Sunday. And, Lord, we thank you for the upcoming Sunday. Father, we pray for the man of God as he continues to feed your people, to feed the flock. Lord, may you continue to renew his strength. May you preserve his voice. May you preserve his health. May you bless his family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for his peace. We pray the Lord. Continue, Lord, to use him as you have always used him. All to the glory and to the honor of your name. We pray, Father, for the numbers also. We pray the Lord may you order the feet of your people that they may be found in your house in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for every department in the church, every department, every every mission in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all the staff members. We pray for all the members. We pray for our children. The Lord, continue to be with us. Lord, we need you. Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. And...